Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to configure a host name for a router or a switch. So a host name is a unique name and there can only be one host name per router or switch. And there are a couple reasons to use host names. The most obvious one is it makes life easier. You can give the box a name. You can then perhaps have that name resolved in DNS to a loopback or another interface IP on that box. So instead of remembering the IP, you can use the host name and get to the box. All right? So use the benefits of DNS. Also, when you're on the box itself, it's a constant reminder of where you are. And not only will we look at the host name command, but we're going to look at some of the changes to the command prompt that are caused after you use the host name. So after you configure the host name, you're going to see a change in the command prompt. And it's very just, it's just a very convenient way to do things. There are a lot of conventions used for host names. You can use whatever you want, but oftentimes in service providers, enterprise networks, you will see perhaps a city name of where the router or switch is located. Sometimes people use airport codes to uniquely identify a region. Or sometimes they use a combination in addition to the function the device uh, provides. So perhaps it's an access switch or a core router, and those th those types of functions are included in the name. So let's get started on configurations. Here we are at a router command prompt, and by default, you'll see the host name router. So um, you may also see, if you're on a switch, a default host name of switch. So if we want to configure a new one, we jump into configuration mode and we use the host name command. And if we just question mark that, the only parameter here is to enter a word and that word is the new name. So let's call this particular router core one router. And we'll actually add NYC on there to include the city name. We hit enter, and immediately you can see our command prompt has changed. So it went from router to core1router-nyc. It's as simple as that to issue the command, and the result is your command prompt changes. So whatever your host name is, that's what your command prompt becomes. And just to show the running configuration, here it is right here. Hostname, core one, router NYC. If you want to delete it, you can do that. Just type the no hostname command and it goes back to the default. So now you can see we're back to this router and here is the default configuration line. If you just want to change it, you don't have to delete it and then enter a new one. You can just enter a new one. So let's call this, um, router, router two and you can see it changes automatically. I can go ahead, if I change my mind, call it router three, and you can see it changes. So you don't have to delete it. And that's it. That is how you configure a host name for a Cisco router or switch. Thanks for watching.